these are some really cool letters, you know? I'd like to see some of Malenga's paintings, because he sure knows how to paint with words. Maybe we should think of other ways to find her. Uh, let's keep looking for Malenga. Uh, we can call florists and Italian restaurants. I wish you didn't have to move. Me too. Me three. Me four. Me five. But hey, Australia's all right. And Sydney's a nice city. It's right on the coast, and there's beaches and sailing races all the time. I'll write to you guys a lot. And you'll write back, right? Of course we will. Hey, guys, Ghost Rider's back. Mochila bonita. Bonita. That's Spanish for beautiful. It means beautiful in Portuguese, too. Mochila means bag or backpack. Mochila Bonita is what's printed on Safira's backpack. Ghost Rider must have found her. Yeah, but where is she? That doesn't help. That just tells us that she's out on the street somewhere. Now what do we do? Hope she's not lost. Look. And so should we. Hello? It's Malanga. And in journal time in school, I actually wrote stuff. I did just like you told me. I tried to catch the words as they came out of my head and squashed them right down on the paper. I mean, it was so cool. My man. <laughs> and now you got this carnivorous assignment. Yep. I'm going to write about this old guy who came into the store where my mother works. Uh, Hector. And he says he need a wrench, but he doesn't know what size. Uh, Hector. Huh? That's not a current event. Yeah, it is. It happened yesterday. A current event assignment means that you write about something that you read in the newspaper. What happened to my mom should be in the newspaper. Come on now, Hector. That means I have to read the newspaper. So? I hate reading. It takes me a year to finish one paragraph. I doubt that. A day? Come on, I'll help you. Okay. How about some blood and guts? This one, Firefighter Bags Cat. It's about a cat being rescued. I hate cats. This one. No. Hey, here's something about a truck. I like trucks. Truck sprays hundreds. How can a truck spray hundreds of people? Is it a fire truck with a hose or something? Keep reading and find out. A bank truck traveling near Dallas, Texas. Spewed? Spewed. What's that mean? Like sprayed or vomited. Yeah. Spewed. Spewed. Spewed hundred dollar bills all over the highway. Ran its back door at. Go ahead. Bet you can read it. Just take your time. Accident. Accidentally. See. Accidentally opened, and a bag of money broke apart. Oh, I get it. The truck didn't spray hundreds of people. It sprayed hundred dollar bills. Right, go on. Motor is that's drivers, right? Stop head. Stopped. Stopped. Jump head. Oh, jumped from their cars and ran up and down the highway after the money. They were hampered. Hampered. What's that mean? Like stopped or slow down. They were hampered, however, by strong winds that sent bills sw swirl. Swirling out of reach. Larry Greenberg, president of Brick Bank, said that some of the money has been re recovered. Uh huh. Keep reading. But much of it is still missing. Oh, I get it. Recovered means they got it back. Hey, I like this article. Great, and you read it well too. Now all I have to do is write it down. 
Okay, current events. What are you doing? My current events assignment. Whoa, 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 whoa. You can't just copy down the article. You need to put things in your own words. But I like these words. Hector. If you put things in your own words, you really understand what you read. And what you write will sound like you. But you can still use some of the words you liked. Spood? Spewed, sure. This is too hard. Okay. Just write it down like you're telling me what the article's about. And try not to leave out anything you think is important. Okay. There was this truck that was spewing money, see? I can't believe this. My sister Safira running away in this big city to look for me. She loves you very much. I know. If only I'd gotten to Mr. Tongs a moment sooner, if I had simply put my return address on my letters to Safi. Safira told me you were afraid your father might find out where you were. Yes, yeah, quite a stupid reason, actually. Why don't you call your parents? I'm sure they're really worried. About Safi, not about me. But maybe you could help them find Safira. What I can do is call Mr. Tongue and see if she's gone back there. Can I use your phone? Yes, yeah, sure. Back. Dear Malanga, the sun is beginning to set now. If only you were sitting here with me to see it. Ghost Rider must have caught up with Safira again. She's writing to Malanga. And she's sitting down someplace. She must be outside, since she's talking about the setting sun. So, where does that put her in Brooklyn? Setting sun. Setting sun. I read about that here. Malanga writes here. I sit on one of the benches along a walkway and watch the sun set over the water. And the place he's talking about. It's Brooklyn, Brooklyn Heights! Huh? We think Sapphire's on the promenade in Brooklyn Heights. If only you were sitting here with me to see it. Thank <laughs> you. 